Whoops. What is up everyone? I hope you all are doing well. My name is Ishan and welcome to the video. Man, so as you all know, I usually upload my videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays and that means that I spend some my Sundays planning out at least one video, if not both of them, then using Tuesday, uh, I'm sorry, Monday and Thursdays as recording days and then Tuesdays and Fridays as my editing days and I had some family over for the weekend for Christmas and Last night I was also working on a dope new intro and it, it's coming it's coming and you gotta let me know how you like it in the comments below when you see it but Apart from that like I just completely it, it just slipped my mind that I, I had to plan this video So when I woke up this morning, I was like, you know what? I, I'm a free sell this one take you along my day and answer one of the most frequent questions that I get from my friend group and That is this pre-workout make you gain muscle. So stick around for that I'm gonna drop some insights on that and I'm gonna go ahead and plan out my tasks for today And then I'm gonna head into my morning workout. So let's get right into it and here's the new intro coming I just finished my workout and it wasn't really a crazy workout like it was a very mini workout and um, since like the COVID cases are going up again like crazy just to stay on the safer side of things I've reverted back to my home workouts and I don't really have a whole lot of equipment except this resistance band and I mean I still made it work did a little bit of um, got a little bit of movement in, and honestly that's that's really better than nothing but even though I took pre-workout man like I feel pretty tired I would say and you know usually that's not the case when i take pre-workout i'm pretty jittery not jittery sorry but i'm pretty energetic and i'm like all right like let's get to this let's do this let's do that and i, I just didn't feel that way right now and speaking of pre-workout if you don't know what it is it's basically a supplement that you take before you're heading into your workout usually like 15 to 30 minutes in to give your body time to digest it and absorb the caffeine to give you the energy and it basically has um caffeine for the energy and a lot of other compounds that can help you enhance your focus and increase your vascularity and pump during the workout by increasing blood flow through vasodilation um, and vasodilation is basically um, like your blood vessels being enlarged to allow for better blood flow and there's just such a shit ton of pre-workout to choose from like nowadays because like you have the cheap ones you have the more expensive ones but Excuse me, you really have to dig into the chemistry um, or the formula that really goes into that pre-workout to determine which one is going to be the right one for you. And I'm going to do like a big analysis video on different pre-workouts that I've taken in the past or and the ones that I'm taking now. So um, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned for that video in the future. And again man like the pre-workouts like the caffeine content ranges in each different one and like different like the cheaper ones have different formulas than the more expensive ones which means it's going to give you different effects as compared to the other pre-workouts that are there and you really have to you really have to at least have a basic knowledge of what goes into the pre-workout so you can actually choose the one that's going to fit your needs and your goals Anyways, I'm about to go hit the shower and clean up, but I'm gonna keep the video rolling, so I'm gonna catch y'all real soon. Yeah, boy, it's cleaned up, and one of the questions that, um, you know, usually comes when you're talking about pre-workout is if it's bad for you, and I mean, the short answer is no, it's not bad for you, but it does depend on the circumstances. Now, if let's say the pre-workout has like 175 milligrams of caffeine in it, and you're taking like three scoops a day, like, like that's definitely a problem like because the recommended daily intake for caffeine for an individual is about 400 milligrams or so and again like if if the pre-workout has 175 milligrams in one scoop and you're taking like three scoops a day like uh you definitely have a caffeine problem over there like i don't know you might have to spit some things up but no pre-workout itself is inherently not necessarily bad or it's a problem unless you're taking more caffeine um, than your recommended intake for the day and as long as you're like you know taking it in moderate amounts and actually ca uh, carefully dosing it then everything should be fine like it's not bad for you and if you're using it right then it can aid you in your process of going to the gym and having better workouts 
because you have that increased energy, you have a bit of increased endurance, and you have an increased mental capacity and mental focus to lift a little heavier and push through some of uh, push through the workout. Anyways, I gotta get some work done, so I'll catch you all real soon. I am back and I just finished up with the work that I had. So what I was working on actually, um, it's a draft for an abstract that I'm hoping to submit for a conf for a scientific conference that's gonna happen in March, but the deadline for the submission is coming up in January. Uh, so that's why I had to get started on it now. And that was only my first draft. So I'll definitely let you all know how it goes in the next couple of days and the next couple of weeks. and when I ended up submitting it. But getting back into the topic of the video and answering the most important question, whether pre-workout helps you gain muscle and lose fat or not. And the answer to that is not directly. So pre-workout itself is not gonna help you lose fat or gain muscle if you don't have your training dialed in, your nutrition dialed in. And again, as the name suggests, it's a supplement that's supposed to be used in addition to the fundamentals that you're already doing. And just the pre-workout itself, it's not gonna make you gain any muscle because it doesn't have an amino acid profile. It doesn't have a protein profile. It's like protein is um, what you need to build the actual muscle. That's what the muscle fibers are made of, but, and pre-workout does not provide that. So no, pre-workout does not make you gain muscle, but, things do get a little interesting because even if it's not direct, pre-workout can indirectly help you because when you use pre-workout, you're able to have better workouts and more with more increased intensity, as I would put it, because you have a little bit more energy than you would normally do if you're not taking pre-workout. You have more mental endurance, you have more physical endurance, which means you'll be able to push past some of the heavier lifts that you have for that day, which means overall you'll have a better recruitment of your muscle fibers, which means it's gonna lead to better muscle protein synthesis. So indirectly pre-workout when used in the right fashion, you know, for the purpose of energy and mental focus and endurance, like it can help you get better workouts, which is gonna inherently then gonna help you with better muscle protein synthesis and muscle building. So should you use pre-workout? Well, oh, before that actually, I would like to make it clear that I am not a doctor or a trained medical professional. So uh, what I'm about to give is my personal opinion based on my personal experiences with using pre-workout and whatever I say should not be taken as medical advice because it is not. With that said, in my opinion, I think it's perfectly okay to take pre-workout if you're taking it in its dosage sizes, like a recommended dosage sizes, and as long as you're not exceeding the daily caffeine limit, you know, that 400 milligrams a day for a regular healthy individual, then I, I, I don't see a problem in it because it can give you that extra energy, an extra pump, not extra pump, but it does give you that extra energy when you're tired throughout the day, and it can help you get through the workout more efficiently and help you like lift a little heavier than you could if you didn't have that energy and that pumps and or and that mental endurance so yes i think the pre-workout has a lot of benefits and it can be used um, to your advantage if you're taking it into the recommended recommended dose and using it to actually fuel your workouts effectively now you're probably wondering which pre-workout you should use and Again, as I said, like it really depends on what you're looking for from the pre-workout. Different pre-workouts have different chemical profiles, which means it provides different benefits for the body. Like some are only made for like purely energy, whereas some are more carefully formulated for an energy and a pump and mental endurance at the same time. So you really have to know a little bit of the basics of it. And as I said, like I'll do a more extensive video on that. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already to stay tuned for that video and I'll, I'll actually also make a video on some of my favorite pre-workouts that I've had over the years but currently my favorite pre-workout is the gorilla mode by um, Derek so if y'all don't know who Derek is his channel name is more plates more dates he's a He's a well-renowned bodybuilder, you know, he has, he has a crazy looking physique, he has a lot of experience with um, in the bodybuilding realm and um, also with a lot of like the pharmacology of steroids and how they impact the body and 
be sure to check out his channel if you haven't because he drops uh, like his content is so transparent and so good like just so informative and I, I mean I learned from him a lot and a lot of my understanding of what goes into making a pre-workout actually comes from him and what he's done with this gorilla mode pre-workout is that he scientifically researched um, the efficacious doses for each of the ingredients and carefully formulated it into the pre-workout to give you the best energy the best pump and the best mental endurance that you can possibly find in a pre-workout and no i'm not sponsored by him i wish i was i um, mean if he watches this that would be great and sponsor me like i mean i'm not gonna complain about that but like i'm not sponsored this is just my personal opinion after trying out like a shit ton of other pre-workouts that i've had in the past ranging from c4 which are some of the cheapest ones to more expensive ones like um like gorilla mode by derek and um, transparent labs and like the effects really w vary because sometimes like the pre-workout really does give you a lot of energy but then it makes your body all jittery and then there's like a whole crash after the after like two hours of intake and sometimes there's that ingredient beta alanine that makes different parts of your body very itchy and it's <sighs> Yeah man, I, I've tried a lot of pre-workouts and as I said, I'm gonna make a more extensive video on not just the chemical profile of pre-workouts but also some of my top pre-workouts and the effects that it has on me so be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. With all that said, I hope you all enjoyed the video and actually got something out of it and man, if you made it this far into the video, I just wanna say, you know, I appreciate you so much and thank you for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button to let me know you made it this far into the video. And if you're new to the channel, then definitely consider subscribing and turning on notifications because I release at least two new videos every single week. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.